Hello and welcome to the seventh tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series and in this part we're going to be spawning pipes. We have created the pipe class, we will now spawn the pipes. We won't actually make the pipe move in this part of the series but just spawn randomly and they will move in the next tutorial. First let's create a definition which will store the gap size between the pipes and the threshold for the pipes aka the spawn range uh, which we're going to implement at 0 0.65 and 0 0.35 and that just means the 35% and 65%. You will see what this means when it runs. So let's just go to our definitions header and hash define pipe underscore gap 10 and what this number 10 means is the gap between the pipes will be 10 times the height of the character the ball it's a ball in our case but if you were to change it to the bird from flappy bird then it will be 10 times the height of the bird Obviously you can modify this accordingly, but this is a nice way to keep it dynamic. So if you're on a Retina iPad or on a, just like a regular iPhone or an Android device, you'll look the same regardless. And let's do hash define upper underscore screen ER underscore screen underscore pipe underscore fresh hold and put 0 0.35. No, sorry, this should be 0 0.65. Copy and paste here. We change the 35 to 6, I mean, the 65 to 35, and change upper to lower. And now, what we're going to do is just if we go to our pipe.cpp, we created this spawn pipe method in the previous tutorial. And what we're going to do is just create our pipe in here. So, auto pipe. Auto top pipe because I'm going to have two pipes the top and the bottom one equals right column column create. And what we're going to do is specify this image right here pipe.png. PNG, and the next thing we're going to do is just copy and paste this because it'll be easier, but rename top pipe to bottom pipe. And now we're going to create some physics bodies. So auto top pipe body equals physics body colon colon create box. And for this, we're just going to do top pipe get content size. We can copy and paste this. Change this to bottom. Even though in this example, actually pipe, pipe needs a capital P. You will notice that even though in this example we are using the same image for the top pipe and the bottom pipe, we're going to change this to bottom pipe get content size just in case you would want to actually use a different type of pipe for the bottom. I mean, different type of image for the bottom pipe. And now we're going to create a random number so auto random equals cc random zero one this is built into cocos 2dx we're going to just do if random is less than lower screen pipe threshold then random equals lower pipe screen threshold and we're going to do an else if and we'll just make sure it's not above the upper screen threshold. This is just to prevent the pipes from spawning too high or too low. Random is greater than upper screen threshold. Random equals upper screen threshold. Now what we're going to do is auto top pipe there yeah. pipe position and assign that to random times by visible size dot height and we're going to add that to top pipe get content size dot height divide by 2 so this is just getting the position for the top pipe 
and the Davy. That should be a multiplication, not another bracket for some reason. And we've got an extra bracket right here. Yep, yeah, that's great. And let's put a few extra empty lines there so we can see it a bit better. And then we're gonna what we're gonna do is top pipe body. We're gonna set the dynamic to false. Basically, we want a static body and we'll be moving it ourselves. We'll be setting the position for it. Now, bottom pipe body set dynamic. We'll do the same, so false. We're going to do top pipe set physics body. Uh, for that, we're going to set top pipe body. And we can copy and paste this. Change top to bottom. Change it here as well. Next thing we're going to do is do top pipe. Set position. So it's going to set position of the pipe. And for this, we're going to do point. And for the purpose of this tutorial, we are just going to be setting it on visible size dot width divide by two plus top pipe get content size dot width plus origin dot x plus cc random one one we're gonna multiply this by five hundred back in now we'll multiply it by two fifty <laughs> sorry And the next part is we're going to actually just do the Y position, the top pipe position. So the position that we created here for the dimension, it is the Y position. And you might look at this and look at this and think, what the hell is going on here? This is not going to be the final position. This is just the position for the purpose of this tutorial. So you can see them spawning on screen and so you can actually see it working. So what we're going to do is bottom pipe set position point and for this what we're going to do is top top pipe get position x and for the y value we're going to do top pipe position but we're going to minus sprite colon colon create and temporary create a sprite so we can get the size of the ball or the character. And we do get content size dot height times by pipe gap, which you created before, and so it's going to be 10 minus top pipe get content size dot height. So basically we're gonna what happens is the bottom pipe position in the Y gets set to the top pipe position and then the gap gets taken away so it's moved down a little bit and it's moved down again by the actual size of the pipe so there is a gap. If you were to just move it down by the size of the pipe they would literally be on top of each other and there would be zero gap. And now the final step is to just add these Sprite, so we're going to add child top pipe and I'm going to change top pipe to bottom pipe and now if we run this we should get every so often because we created the schedule method in the previous tutorial which schedules the spawn pipe method it will create pipes on the screen there we go. As you can see, we've got pipe spawning, we've got a gap. The gap is exactly the same. Like I said, it's only for the purpose of this tutorial that we're spawning them on the screen. What we'll actually be doing is spawning them like literally here. So they're just off the screen and then they will start moving from right to left. And we'll be able to, well, not in the next tutorial, but once we implement our bird, we'll be able to click away and avoid all of these pipes. 
that is it for this part of the series. In the next part, we're going to be looking at moving the pipes. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.